All right, the time has come. Yes, the time has come to fight. As you can see, I'm in more 99 mastering 99. The time has come to fight. Ruin the nerd god say now. I have the Savage Double Joe Longsword, as you can see. Um, not that I know what his weakness is, because I don't. I assume it's Dragon, just because it'll make the most sense. But I could be wrong, you never know. Uh, anyways. And the set that I'm using isn't anything special. It's literally just meh. Just something I threw together, not really that good. Already, huh? Yep. Um, rolling around the shadow of the rest of the time, huh? Exact location. Let's go. The very ends with you. Let's go pit. Slay a ruiner near Gigante. Oh boy. See, now this sounds fun. This is like. This is great. We're on the hunt. This is great. Uh. To the very ends with me, huh? Alright, sounds good to me. I don't know if I'm gonna live it. But... I'll do what I can. I always do what I can. Um, from what I fought of him though, at least in uh, the fight before Shara, He's not too bad. I mean, he has some variations, but I think at the end of the day, he's still a nerdy. He's still gonna catch it, regardless. Especially if I, as long as I, hold up, let me change Cat's weapon real quick to something. Actually, I don't have anything. I lie. What is that? Actually, hmm. Really? When did I make this? Okay, I, I I guess you can use that because obviously his uh his uh that that this sword is not gonna be very useful if if I had to take a guess. Sadly, this is on the guiding line, so it takes a while to load up. Hopefully there's not a cutscene, so this does not take too long to load in. Alright, good, it didn't. Thank God. Um, yep, let's go find that Nergi. Oh boy, this is fun. It's super exciting, dude. It's super interactive, super everything. It's went this away. Those are old footprints anyway. That that lance for the cat is like super large by the way. It's like three almost three times its own size, which is crazy. I'll take these so uh, you know knock them in. Um Alright now I I think I know where he could be. I think. I want to say I know where he's at. Oh, there he is. There he is. I found him. Wandering the Guiding Lands. Alright, let's get it. Yeah, I've been practicing a lot with Longsword, obviously. So, this is gonna be... Is, this is Ruiner, correct? Yes, it's Ruiner. He just kind of got the beating right there. Yeah. Like, there's no way. Like, he's, bro, he's getting the beating. What is this? Oh, nice evasion there, huh? Very nice, very nice. Like I said, though, he's gonna get a beating regardless. or not it's still a nerd at the end of the day. It's like fighting um 
eternal regal play very nasty one. Okay, we can get that tail. That tail is gonna be uh That was gonna be something. In for a lot of that. Uh, in for a lot on those uh, little spikes there. That'd be even his middle. Yeah, pretty sure. Okay. Uh, complete, 100% complete fabricated lies. Yeah, this is kind of. I'm trying to get into business. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> uh, that's one thing with a counter. Sometimes you still take the damage if you don't, if you, even if you get the uh, counter off. It's kind of scary to use, to be honest. It can be anyway, in certain situations. I do love this thing. You know, it's apparently some people don't like it because I don't know. They just hate the monster. I don't know why people don't like Nergi. I mean, I can understand why. I think it really becomes it, it, the hatred really becomes apparent from like his his broken hit boxes. Because I agree, some of his boxes are janky. But I don't think you should hate a monster just for that. I mean, people people hate Plesioth. Plesioth has no existence in the in the, uh, in the monster in the universe. No one likes Plesioth. Yet people would rather see Plesioth over Nergi, and I don't know why. The same 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 uh, same uh, same idea. People hated uh, Plesioth because you know broken hitbox. And, uh, and, I mean, his weapons were okay. His weapons were pretty good. His armor was meh, but his weapons were okay. But for some reason, I, I mean, I heard someone say that Nergi's... Nergi's, like, even armor and weapons designs are lame. Like, I don't see how anyone can say that. It's, again, it's all hatred coming from the fact that his hitboxes are pretty jank. It's it's okay to say that he never had a he never had a uh, a place in the story, which is false, by the way. But you know, pe people are allowed to believe what what they want. I'm I'm not gonna sit up here and argue with them because this is not even worth my breath. People say he didn't have a place in the story, but let let me explain to you this why he did. So, in the original world story, and and this some people don't actually realize. When, when Zor was heading to the Everstream, I do believe, at least from memory, it, it seems pretty obvious that um, he was going there not to die, but he was going there to more or less be a sacrifice so Zeno could gain power, right? Zeno Jiva. Zeno Jiva was more or less, I, I guess, almost emitting a pheromone. Not really. But if I had to take a guess, I'd say that's that's about that's about right. Almost admitting a ceremony that attracted all sorts of elder dragons too. Um, and that's why Zora was going towards him. Obviously, you drive Zora away out in the sea. But why? Why on earth would? Why on earth would Nergi, you know, want to kill Zora and eat him? He, it's not because he ate Elder Dragon, so no, no, no. It's not like he was thinking, let me eat this, uh, let me eat this Zora Magdaros. That's like a million times my size. There's no way a single Nergi Dante could take on a Colossus like Zora Magdaros and win. There's just no way. You're right. But I think, I think he was... I think he was there to at least use Zora as sort of a a mechanism to root out um, to root out Zenojiva because 
think of it like this. If Nergi knew that Zor was on his way to Zidon Jima, would he not want would he would he not want Zor to reach Zenonjiva so Zenonjiva could get slain out by Nergi? It makes sense, right? Like like, and it makes sense as to why he was fighting the Hunters, too, because, again, okay, that hurt a lot. Again, I might actually die here. Okay, never mind, we're good. Again, why, why would you want the Hunters to, you know, drive off Zor when this is probably your only chance to actually find Zenojiba and kill him? Because that's what Nergi does, in terms of, uh, the story, right? He, he he is a he's a balancing mechanism for the elder dragons. Those who grow too powerful or those those who walk the line are too powerful. That, that's what he does. So needless to say, uh, the short of it is to recap and you know to recap, Nergi was using Zora. That way he could learn the location of Zenonjiva. So that, you know, he could stop Zenonjiva from doing whatever he was doing. Which is why exactly at the end of Iceborne you see Nergi kill Shara. And many people take that as, oh he just stole your kill, that's so lame. Okay, that hurt. Oh my god, I'm bleeding. I should have brought a stair jerky. Many people take that as, Oh, he just stole your kill. But no, in reality, he was doing—he's just doing his job. I played that off so well too. Which is fine if you want to say, you "No, know, he stole your kill." That, that's what I thought at first, but then I started to think more about what it implies in the story and the ending when that was revealed. I say revealed, but really, you know, it wasn't anything like crazy. It's just saying that, like, yes. Nergi killed him because that's, that's his purpose. He doesn't do it because he wants to save humanity. He just does it. Uh, he does it to balance out the world. He's not for humans. He's not for other dragons. He is for nature itself. Oh, okay, well, I just got it. Okay. Um, which probably makes him one of the most eco-friendly older dragons ever. If not the most eco-friendly older dragon, right? Because, I mean, what, what do the rest do? Nothing, really. I mean, they're just sort of there. Like, Fatalis is a destroyer of worlds. And down the door, also a destroyer of worlds. But, um, uh, I think that, I think, they could've, I think in, in reality, to make people like Nergi better, they should've worked him into the story a bit better. Cause, or at least, explain, give us a reason as to why, uh, give us a reason as to why, you know, Nergi on stage went after Zora in the first place. Zora shows up, that means he must be trying to kill him and he's an elder dragon, these other little dragons. That's not true, at all. Again, it, a, a greater, a greater, uh, a greater narrative lies beneath all, all the bluster that is world. Which is a shame because I really want people to realize that, but you know, my voice is so limited. Now I'm not saying that I'm a I'm not saying that I'm a 100% pro monster hunter, you know, storyteller or anything. But I think I think I get a general I, I get the general grasp that most people wouldn't when it came to the world story. Because I, I get what they were going for. It's like when you really think about it, all all the pieces sort of line up. That's like um, like they never really explained Legiana, you know the Legiana myth. Um, 
and, and why Volcano was with them, or chasing them rather. I may die here. Nope, I'm good. I may die here. Yep. <laughs> um, and I actually have a theory on that. Uh, I, I could have played that one better. I actually have a theory on that. Thank god I got Fortify on this. Um, so, actually while I'm here I'm gonna grab some Mysterio Jerky just in case. So, the theory is that, um, Volcana, obviously not powered up a bit. Well, okay, there's a couple theories. Um, well not really a couple theories, but there's a smaller theory tied in with the bigger theory. So the theory is that Volcana gathered up all these Ligiana as sort of like an army to try to find and take down Zora. Not Zora, uh, Shara. Because Ice is obviously his weakness, right? Okay, fair enough. But what about Shrieking Legiana? You know, where did that come from? Well, notice how you encounter Shrieking right after you fight Vilkana in the recess. And notice how the handler sort of says in her personal theory that uh, she doesn't think the Vilkana retreated so much as it left after it got done what it was trying to do. Exactly. With what it was trying to do. You, you know what I'm saying. Where is the jerky? There it is. Alright. Um, so I think that Volcana grew more powerful. You know, took some some essence from the Elder's Recess. Grew more powerful. And in turn, gave that power to Leggy, to a Legiana that became Shrieking Legiana. Hence all the ice all over its body. Um, that's just a personal theory of mine. I'm not saying it's right, I'm not saying it's wrong, because it's, you know, a, a very good theory. And eventually, I wonder, if you didn't kill the Shrieking or, you know, Velcana, would eventually, would that Velcana eventually turn each and every single one of those Legiana to, uh, to Shrieking Legiana? And would have been, would, it, would they have been enough to take down Shara? Because in my personal opinion, you have no dragon and you have like, you know, a couple of dozen dragons. I think that would have been enough. Not to mention Ruiner was there too. But you know, I guess... I guess the, the world theory is kind of, well, that doesn't really make sense because how can... Alright, I, re I really need to knock this guy down. So I'm actually getting terrified because, uh... I thought this was going to be an easy fight, but... I mean, he's kind of, he's kind of beating me up. Oh, he's raging now. He's gonna knock me to the wall. But I think it kind of null nullifies the world theory in the sense of, well, that can't be the case because if he needed Zora, if regular, regular Nergi got he needed Zora. If regular Nergi needs Zora to find Zeno, then, you know... Well, you also gotta think that Zeno wasn't even hatched from its cocoon yet. Or whatever that thing was. Odd. Whereas Shar was. Shar, I believe, was fully grown. As far as we know, anyway. <laughs> as far as we know anyway, Char was full grown. I'm willing to bet they're gonna pull some nonsense and be like, oh, plot twist, it turns out the whole time you fought a baby Char at least all the And just like they did with Dalamador, just like they did with Oh, well, I mean they did do it with Xenojiva because well, he just hatched out of his cocoon, so I can only assume that he'd just been you know that he was still an infant. I don't know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of story talk in this, which is nice, you know, it's nice to talk about something other than the fight, something a bit more pertinent to the game, ow. Alright, good, I got a ride, this is scary, <laughs> he, like, I love his design, I love his design, what they've done with him, you know, the, this, like, sort of silver, metallic-y, 
and black, you know, black spikes. Those go well together. Definitely my color scheme. I should probably wound him, I know. Ow. Uh, I think Elder Seal is actually doing a pretty good job here. Jesus. That's almost instant. Banana. I, I don't understand the mentality of saying people saying that uh, Nergi has a bad team. Like it sounds very similar to Basil. It, it really does, and people love Basil's team. So I don't know. I don't, I don't know what this Again, I, I think it's just unwarranted hate for the monster. No, which is fine. People can dislike a monster. But not whenever it's reason is as good as disliking Fuzzy Off, that's just silly to me. Because at the end of the day, it's the same thing. You disliked him for the hitboxes, but then again... People say, well it's just not the hitboxes, you know, his armor sucks, his weapons suck. I would have to strongly disagree. Oh my god, that hits you from so far away. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yikes. <laughs> you, you, you just heard the tear in my voice there. There you go, that's what I was aiming for. He's like, what? You did what? I don't know why he turned... German, but... Um... I don't know, man. People are weird. That, that, that's another thing I've been seeing recently, as of right now, which is the... 29th? I'm recording this. I'm 23 days late <laughs> on Ruiner. I just haven't been grinding as much as I should. I've been unironically watching other well, ironically watching other people grind. But uh, I think that something I realized recently. There's a lot, a lot of very, very, very. It can be very toxic very toxic people in the community. I'm not gonna name any names. Something that I realized though. I mean, it's something I always knew, but I guess I just chose to forget about it over time. It's like now, these days, I can't really forget about it. And yes, there's the same people I'm talking about that say they hate Nergi. It's not even the fact that they're toxic for hating Nergi. Again, you can just like a monster. It's not for a silly reason, I think. Um, if you don't like their fight, fine. If you don't like their theme, fine. But to say his armor and weapons look bad, design-wise, I, 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 I don't know what will look good to you then. I don't. I shouldn't have actually done that. I shouldn't have hit him twice there because now he's gonna go into rage mode instantly. I don't know why, but he, he reminds you of like uh Oh nice. I don't know why, but he reminds me of uh Oreos. <laughs> weird, kind of kinda of weird. Oh he's almost dead, big up. I mean, I've been having on this entire time about the story mode. I, I completely forgot that I was doing some work to him anyway. 
this is super clear because now he's going around in a circle. Yeah. No, you don't. <laughs> it seems like if you break those spikes on his arms, uh, his his spike range is severely reduced, if not gone in entirely. I don't really know how it, how it works. I I tried to avoid as much spoilers as possible from this guy. I'm dead. <laughs> I am dead. Yikes. Uh. <sighs> that's that's pain. That sucks. Ooh. Oh, no insurance. Why didn't I just? I should have used a voucher. I'm kind of oh, duh. <laughs> I'm kind of scared. I'm just gonna restock max max potions just in case. This is a this is a long video, super long video. Actually, I might even need to cut it right here. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, all right. We are on our way. We only have one life left, so I'm kind of scared. I thank God, Temporal's back. I should be able to kill him. Hopefully, he's open. I can't believe he's killed me twice. I was expecting to come in here and mop the floor with him. I guess I thought wrong. It gave him some really interesting attacks, very hard uh, follow-ups. I'm gonna grab these, hopefully I can run them into the wall here. I... I'm kinda scared. <laughs> At least I broke both his horns, I broke both his arms. Now, if you didn't know, watch this. No, okay, whatever. I think I can make this work still. Okay, good. More damage. If you didn't know about Ruiner, or Nergiyas in general, is that he is a... He actually can reach in his health, believe it or not, whenever he's near death. I don't know if this is something that they use in game or what oh nice fell over oh he died he died i don't know if that's something that they use in game hey big ups oh and a large elder dragon gym just like that big ups um yeah i don't i don't know if they if they do that um obviously you know only three cars okay Oh, never mind. I got four, though. Um, yeah, the... Um, obviously he can reach into his health through sleeping, which was, you know, what he was doing. But I believe when he's also near death at a certain threshold, he'll start to reach in health. Not constantly. It's not consistent, consistently to where, oh, he's just unkillable. But it slowly, it's a slow region, which is cool. I don't think any monster ever in the monster and has ever had a mechanic like that. Um, it just adds to the fact that, you know, he is the immortal dragon. But I did it! I slayed out Ruiner. Thank God. That was actually pretty... That was rough. Oof. Alright, thanks for the Nergi, Jim. <laughs> Come on. Do, do your boy better than that. Annihilating Great Horn. Another Annihilating Great Horn. All right. Well, that was Ruiner. He kind of demolished me. Feels bad. Um. Maximum master rank. Feels good, man. All right. Well, that was Ruiner. Um. Um. Bear in mind, I'm just gonna spoil it now, because I think. It should. I'm thinking I might put it up before this, but um, I have yet to fight Silver Rathlos at the time of me, re you know, doing recording this. Uh, he's the last monster in the game that I need to fight. 
I have fought Scored Yan Garuga. I don't know if I want to make that as a video, because... I mean, he's a unique monster, but he doesn't have an armor set, nor does he have his own weapons, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I might still do it anyway. So yeah, that was Runer. Until next time, if there is a next time. There, there will be a next time eventually, but until next time...